Hi, welcome back to my channel. Now for the next few days, I am going to be exploring the beautiful French island of Ile de Ray. This is just over the water, over the bridge from La Rochelle. And the island itself is only 30 kilometers long, so it's really easy to explore, especially by bike. They're cheap to hire, and I've got this super cute pink bike with a basket. I'm gonna be exploring around the island on this for the next few days. So this is San Martin de Rey, which is the capital of Ile de Rey and one of 10 communes here on the island. It is the prettiest little harbour with loads of cafes and boutiques, hotels all around the outside and surrounding San Martin is a lot of fortifications built in the 1600s to protect the area from the English, I presume, and these were made a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the 2000s. So I'm doing a big cycle now to the tip of Ile de Rey to see one of the beautiful lighthouses and it is hot, hot, hot today. I have sun creamed up. Ile de Rey is famous for its salt production and on the way to the lighthouse I'm passing all of these salt marshes. I've just stopped at a boutique salt producer and the sauniers in the area use traditional techniques that have barely changed since the Middle Ages. I am such a sucker for a market, so I couldn't help but stop at Da Honore, another commune. They've got a lovely market going on. Not just a food one this time, there's lots of clothes and jewellers. I might not necessarily buy anything, but I can't help but walk around. I finished my rather sweaty cycle at the very far west of Ile de Rey. And this is the Far de Belaine, which means Lighthouse of the Whales. It's built in the 1800s and it's 57 meters high. And I actually really love this part of the island. It seems a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more low key, away from the towns. So not as many tourists, but a very nice place to come. called to Grosjean, which is one of the beaches here in Ile de Rey. And it's absolutely huge, but there's barely anybody here. And the tide is really far out at the moment. So there's people playing pool with rocks, actually, on the beach, which seems very French. The sailboats dotted around. It is incredibly pretty. It's like something from a postcard here. Very, very blue, fluffy white clouds, little dots, the white sailboats going past. Very lovely. Good morning. It is a slightly overcast morning. However, it is still a glorious temperature. And when I was a kid and I used to come to France with my parents, I always enjoyed getting up early, going to the boulangerie or patisserie and getting bread and croissants. And that is what I have decided to do this morning. Cat, pan au chocolat, s'il vous plaît. I absolutely love a market and the covered market here in St. Martin is so pretty. Loads of fruit and vegetables, lovely pastries, lots of fresh fish as well. And there's quite a lot of stalls around some of the bars here. So later on in the day, you can come and sit, have a glass of wine and have a little bite to eat. These streets are just so pretty. They honestly look like something out of a film set. Even though it's still quite early and there's not much going on, it's very nice to just walk around this time of day.
I've just cycled out to La Flotte, which is another commune on Ile de Ray. And this was actually voted one of the most beautiful villages in the whole of France. And you can see why, especially on a day like today. It's so pretty, so blue, with a bustling square or area around the harbour. Lots of people are having a coffee or an early glass of wine. Unsurprisingly, Ile de Ray is famous for its seafood, but these fishmongers are just absolutely incredible. So much choice. I wouldn't know where to start. There is a daily market here in La Flotte, and I cannot tell you how good this place smells. Just the combination of the fresh fruit and veg, the pastries, the bread, mm, delicious.